Hey there, YouTubers! Professor Sheep here. Welcome to another astronomy video. Because the solar eclipse just happened, we're doing another astronomy video. Today is the scale of the solar system. Now our scale is based upon the size of the sun. Our sun is roughly a half a meter in diameter. So let's count to where Mercury is. So here we are at Mercury. It's roughly the head of this silver pin as you see it's sticking up. That pin is roughly 0.47 centimeters in diameter. So, we are currently 75 feet from the sun, as you can see. 75 feet, not that far. So, now on to Earth. So here we are at Earth. Earth is the size of this white pin here, as you can see, as is roughly Venus. Venus is a little smaller than Earth. And so we are currently 295, no, sorry, 193 feet 11 inches from the sun. So let's move on to the biggest planet in the solar system, Jupiter. All right guys, we've made it to Jupiter. Now we did pass Mars on the way here. Mars is this yellow pin. So it is smaller compared to that white pin and bigger than the gray pin, which is Mercury. So Jupiter here is this size of this, about the size of this baseball, which is on our scale 5.5 centimeters. Now, we are currently 412 feet and 9 inches from the asteroid belt, and that is 237 feet 8 inches from Mars. We are a long ways away from the sun, ladies and gentlemen. According to this, we are 307.6 meters away from the sun. We have left home. We are on the tail end of this. Here we are at Saturn. So this is Jupiter. And this green ball is Saturn. So let me try and compare here. Much, uh, quite a little bit of a difference. And then uh, from here we're going to skip Uranus and Neptune. I'm going to show you the rough size of them. Both are about this size. Neptune's the smaller one, but Uranus is about this size. So we're going to continue going on from here. The next stop you're going to see is Pluto, and then uh, a surprise one after Pluto. But you'll have to wait and see. So uh, we are currently, from the Sun, from Saturn, 566.2 meters, and we are 848 feet 5 inches from Jupiter on the scale, of course, but actual distance is much, much, much bigger. So let's move on to the next planet. So here we are at Pluto. We skipped over Uranus and Neptune. Pluto is about the size of that gray pin, but actually in our scale, Pluto is 0.09 centimeters in diameter and mercury which is the second smallest is 0.19 centimeters so a whole millimeter smaller Whew, really a really pluto is quite a small planet but anyways we traveled a 1.09 miles from saturn to get here we are a long ways away from home ladies and gentlemen and we traveled over a mile, 1.3-ish miles from the intersection we were, we were at. Not the one you see right now. There's one over that hill that we were at. So see the little red dot? That's the second intersection. So you, that's, a, that's a mile, and then here we are, about 0.3. So the actual distance Pluto is from the sun 
is 5 billion 874 million miles away from the sun. That's a long, long, long ways. That's in kilometers. Did I say kilometers? It's kilometers, not miles. I've said miles, I'm sorry. So, we have two more clips to show you. One is the secret stop we're about to make after Pluto. And then the next one is not a stop, but we're going to go back to my cameraman's house and we're going to show the scale of the moon's orbit and the ISS orbit according to the Earth. So we are currently on our way to the um, the, the secret spot. So I'm still not going to reveal what it is. That'll be when we get there. Uh, but it is 3.2 miles away from Pluto. So after we're done, I believe we're going to have traveled four miles yeah, over four miles away from the, from where we started at the sun. So we got a long ways. We just started this journey. Oh boy. And we're on gravel roads. My favorite. Don't you like how I'm trying to talk to the camera and I just say I don't like gravel roads and I turn around to you and take my eyes off the road. I'm a really safe driver, you know. So here we are at the secret spot. We are currently 4.65 miles away from where the sun was and 3.2 miles away from Pluto. The destination we are at is the first any man-made object has yet to travel. That is the Voyager 1 space probe. So, in kilometers in real life, we are at 19 billion kilometers away from the sun. Ladies and gentlemen, we are a long ways away from home, and those hills and intersections we were looking at earlier are no longer visible at all. <sighs> I miss home. But, now let's head back home to show you the orbital differences of this International Space Station and the Moon. So here we are from the last time you saw me, which is a fraction of a second. But for me, it's been two weeks and one haircut later. Sadly, we screwed up on our math, and now our math is correct. So we've taken our sun, this inflatable green ball, which is 55 centimeters in diameter, and we've set it up as our Earth. We've taken this, we've taken this ball, or the moon, which on our scale is 15 centimeters in diameter. So let's just, let's just get a good size scale here, size comparison here, okay? But this is too close for its orbit, but we'll get to that in a second. Now the ISS on our scale is 3.1 micrometers in length. This wood chip represents the ISS because sadly I, for I forgot my little toy ISS. It is grossly much larger, and especially when you hear its orbit on this scale as well. On this scale, its orbit is 1.7 centimeters above the Earth. In actual terms it's 400 kilometers above the earth that so it was about like that now the moon as I've said before orbits 60 earth radii away that is well we're about there hold on about this far from the earth so we've set the moon here and this distance is 54 feet. And fun fact, every planet, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto can fit between the moon and the Earth. Isn't that wild? Now let's give some actual numbers here, shall we? All right, so Earth's radius is 6.3 million meters. And the moon's radius is 1.7 million meters. But, there is one more measurement I have to show you. Now see this barn? We've seen this barn before. This was where I shot my first two videos. If you haven't seen them, link in the description below. And where I got the information about all the planets fit between the moon and the earth, link in the description below to Vsauce's video. Uh, it's at the very end of the video, but watched most of the video it's about the napkin ring paradox very interesting and very fascinating topic but 
to show you my next measurement, we have to walk quite a ways. Um, so the sun is a very large object, and uh, but our scale, well, no, in normal life, the sun is eight light minutes away from the earth. Well, a little over eight light minutes. So the light you're seeing now is eight light minutes old already. Well, eight minutes old already. Actually, it's eight minutes and about a million years old, but more on that in a future video. So here we are, 200 feet. On, the, on our scale, this is the diameter of the sun. Isn't that crazy? And I said earlier that the planets can fit between the moon and the earth. Imagine how many could fit inside of the sun. Whew. And remember how I said the light is one million years old plus eight light minutes? Well, it takes a photon a long time to go 100 feet. And on our scale, 200 feet. It takes a million years. But I'll explain that in a future video. But anyway, so let's give some actual numbers here, ladies and gentlemen. The radius of the sun in actual terms is, drum roll please, 700 million meters. That's big. And let's just think about that for a minute. The furthest any human has ever traveled is only between the Earth and the moon. And back. That's not even enough to make it across the sun. Think about that. That's that's crazy. And today you've watched me talk about the scale of things, and this is kind of humbling. This really puts into perspective where we sit on our planet. The largest thing we ever put in orbit is only 3.1 micrometers on this scale. And this scale is huge compared to the one we were using earlier. But as always, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and share. New video. There's a new video every Friday. And as always, good night. Ah, great night to view the moon. Well, what are you guys doing here? Well, if you like the astronomy video you just watched, check the link in the description below. And consider subscribing. Now, leave me be back to what I was doing. Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful.